Okay. First time driving long distance after the whole ACL surgery. Hopefully it turns out okay. Hey fam, welcome back. Scrolling through Instagram during Ramadan month is very, very discouraging, especially if you're living overseas. Because in Malaysia right now, there's lots and lots of Bazaar Ramadan. People are Instagramming the food that they buy, Instagramming the whole scene in Bazaar Ramadan. I'm jealous because I cannot find any Bazaar Ramadan around the place where we live, right? Until yesterday, I saw on Instagram, <laughs> someone posting about a Bazaar Ramadan that's being organized by our friends in Indonesia, in San Francisco. So it's a little bit different here. It's not like open for everyone. You have to buy a ticket, right? So I go, tickets are sold out. Completely sold out. I'm like, no, I, I have to make it. I have to go to this event. Somehow we need to find a way. So I reach out to my friend, Nora Harun, who is the director of culinary at Kilnes Kopitiam. She said, I'll hook you up. So she got us media passes to this bazaar. I don't even know what media pass means. This is our first time ever having media passes. It's so fun. Yeah, and so I'm holding a camera, so I guess that's media or whatever. But we are excited to see the spread of food in this bazaar and enjoy ourselves. She's always talking about San Francisco and how she never gets to go back home as much as she likes to. Rachel. Have you ever been to a Bazaar Ramadan? I haven't, no, actually. Right? No, never, I've right? never been to one. So this will be your first ever Bazaar Ramadan. It's true. I'm really excited. And I've celebrated Hari Raya once in Malaysia, but we just went to like open houses. We didn't go to any Bazaar. Bazaar? Okay. Bazaar. Bazaar. Yeah. Bazaar. Bazaar. Ramadan. Next time, we will plan a trip during Ramadan month. Yes, please. San Francisco, when you been in the city for so long. How it's does been it a feel? Long time, huh? It's been really long. So how does it feel? Um I feel like it must have the feel more about the smell. <laughs> what are you what are you smelling here, Rachel? Just a lot of um a few unpleasant smells. It's not my favorite <laughs> smells. Um but you know what? It's part of the it's part of the ambiance. Yeah. There is a homeless epidemic yeah. here. It's horrible. In San Francisco. It's really bad. Definitely a, an American style bazaar because it's like indoors. Yeah. It's very proper. A little air conditioned. Yeah. You, know, you got like little stations and booths right there. You gotta experience everything, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. so, uh, did you say hi, buddy? Hi. <laughs> you want a goodie? Do you want a goodie bag? Yeah, you can take it. Yeah. That's fine. I am say yeah, say thank you. Did you say thank you, Zeze? <laughs> That's so sweet of you, Zeze. Whoa, you got a goodie bag, guy, guy. God. We have to try the layer oh, cake for just, sure. Oh, this is dessert sampler. That's <gasps> dessert like sampler, sampler, yes. Now you have to get one Indonesian dessert sampler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, one, one set of bonjuri. It's not like a Malaysian bazaar, but I'm not complaining with the spread, you know. The lines are crazy long to get like savory food. So we're gonna dig into I'll tell you if Malaysian or Indonesian or which one is better. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't. Like, you know what? It's one day one day. Pretty legit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what are 
Avocados as daughter. Uh, this is a uh, coconut base uh -huh. um, sorbet okay. with uh, black rice, uh, fermented cassava. Okay. It's really good. Between these two, which is one would you recommend? That one? Okay. We'll have that one. Ready? Oh my gosh, that's so good. I know. Oh my goodness. Look at this! So while waiting for our food, we're gonna try this. It's called S. Dodger? Hello? Dodger. Okay, we got S. Dodger. I'm probably butchering it, I'm sorry. Good? Yeah? Really? Seriously? I didn't know how I was going to feel about the fermented cassava, but it's amazing. Ooh, that's good. What fruit is that? He said cassava. He said it's fermented cassava. Oh. So I was going to I didn't know how I was going to feel about that. So the other stuff, the black rice pudding, and then the pink color coconut slushy is sweet and the cassava is a little bit sour. A little sourish. And so it blends the, the flavor so well. You like that one? <laughs> it's like, yeah. Touch this yeah. No, but it's, it's like. <laughs> it's a little sour, huh? Here's our spread, guys. We got what's this? Long John cheese. Limpe bakar. This is, it might be sweet, okay? We'll tr we'll try it soon. Sate ayam. Oh, sate what? Sate ayam. Sate ayam. And then, whoa. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay, let's eat. Let's eat. Here, nasi padang. What's that? Oh, this one looks the prettiest. What's this? Wow. Now this is this is food right here. So there is um. There's like obviously it's under a banana leaf. There's like spiced chicken. There is um some vegetable greens. There is a boiled egg. And I don't know what this is. I think it could be beef, maybe. A lot of spice. I see the peppers. There's so much going on here. There's so much going on. There's one little thing. What was that? Is it good? It is amazing. Rachel? It is just... Don't love Indonesian food more than Malaysian food, okay? There's a flavor in this that I can't really put, put my mind to it. The rempa. It's so good. It's like a. It's something that's really sauteed and fried. I don't know. It's lemongrass or onion, ginger, something. I don't know what it is, but it's so good. Like, like you see the the like rempa here and the rempa that's all around it. What is that? That is money. That is so good. I I don't think I've ever had anything like that sort of flavor before. Okay, fam. Next up, we have. Sundai. Yes. So, so Sundai is Sundai is gonna be. It's actually a restaurant that's gonna be in a coffee bar. Yes. Coffee bar in a restaurant. Kopi bar. bar. That's going to be opening in our neighborhood. In your backyard. In our backyard. So <laughs> today we get to like try out some of the specialties yes. of Sundai. Yeah. So can you tell us what we have? So Sundai is a Nusantara Californian cuisine. So meaning. We're going to be featuring foods from Sudo Santara, mm -hmm. but with Californian influence. Okay. Okay. Gado Gado is a traditional Indonesian salad, uh -huh. but this is our California take on it, using only Californian ingredients. Okay. And of course, tempeh that's made here in wow. San Jose. Okay. So it's authentic, but using California ingredients. Absolutely. Okay. And we also have the fruit rojak. We're using seasonal ingredients. We have peaches and mangoes. Yeah, we got um, the sauces that come with them. And then this is what we call jajan in a jar. So it's our 
Three Milk Cup Vanilla Char uses black, uh, black rice. Oh, yeah. all right. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that one. Okay, we will have one of each. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Okay, more food. Obviously, it's a bazaar. So, all of Sunday's specialties. Roja. We start with Roja. Visually, see how beautiful that is. This is the sauce for the Roja. But it's all this beautiful fruit, and the sauce is a little spicy. So, we're gonna give some to the kiddos first. Hi, guys, which one do you want? You want that one? Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up because it's called Roja for a reason. How is it, Rich? It's good. It's, um, I'm not the biggest Roja fan, but this is good. It's, I think it's a very good balance of all the different flavors. I think it's amazing. I think it's a, a really atas uh, Roja. You know, sometimes you go buy at a street store, uh, Roja can be like just a mash of a bunch of things. This one is like really, really like specifically curated. Curated. Like the number of fruits and the number of, of it's vegetables it's and all. Very proper. Nora is a perfectionist. Very much so. And it shows them how delicious her food is. Like even to take fruit and mix it with sauce to make it this amazing meal. It's pretty it's pretty pro. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, next up. Gado gado. It sounds like gado gado, not gado. What, is what does that mean? Gado means like. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had like authentic gado gado, so I don't know what I'm comparing it to. But my assumption is put a mix. I guess. Right? Should have asked Nora. Yeah, we should have asked Nora, but that's what I'm gonna do. We definitely need a lot more of this. Really? Mm hmm, it's good. Mmm. Mm. So I don't know if you should mix all this stuff in. I think you just take a little bit, get the sides. What is that? Mm. I think it's like a squash or something. This is good. I thought it was going to be peach mango and it was not. This is a savory dish. Yeah. I see you. See you later. Thank you.